Rushing to adopt a ragdoll cat before watching this video could be a huge mistake. Here are 11 reasons a ragdoll might not be the best cat for you. Number 1. If you expect your ragdoll to be well-behaved at all times. Yes, ragdolls are typically laid-back and low-energy cats, though I'm not counting kittens in that description. However, you should know that ragdolls are pretty smart. If your adorable ragdoll is a foodie, they'll be motivated to figure out how to open doors, cupboards, and drawers. That brings us to the next reason. Number 2. If you're not willing to cat-proof your home. Unfortunately, cats don't always know what's good for them, and the ragdoll is no exception. It's crucial to secure electrical cables if your curious ragdoll is into chewing them. You should also carefully store dangerous foods and get rid of any toxic plants, like the popular yucca palm. Number 3. If you mind hair. Ragdolls are long-haired, fluffy cats, so they're bound to shed quite a lot. There might be some exceptions, but my research shows that's pretty much the norm. I love this Reddit user's comment saying they basically breathe fur. If you have a ragdoll kitten and are already typing that your cat isn't shedding, just wait until your cat is 8 to 12 months old. While it's always present, the shedding is more prevalent during spring and autumn. It's also worth noting that a ragdoll's hair is typically very fine, so it can easily get in your eyes. Number 4. If you're lazy or have too much on your plate. By now, it should be clear that you'll have to clean more often if you get a ragdoll. But wait, there's more. Ragdolls need to be brushed weekly, with some needing even more frequent sessions. They're also quite lazy and prone to becoming overweight, so you might need to entice your ragdoll to play so they get enough exercise. If you're unable to do that, it'd be best if you didn't get any cat, ragdoll or not. Number 5. If you're looking to get one from a backyard breeder. First of all, I highly recommend adopting instead of paying for a pedigree cat since there are millions of cats in need of a home. Plus, cats similar to ragdolls can be found in shelters. Still, if you're determined to get a ragdoll cat, please avoid backyard breeders. Many unauthorized ragdoll sellers keep their cats in horrendous conditions and even allow sick cats to reproduce. It's a risk that's not worth taking. Number 6. If you can't afford to care for one. While buying pedigreed ragdolls can be pricey, that's nothing compared to the breed's lifetime costs. Even if you get your cat from a shelter, which I highly advise, you should still make sure you can afford to care for one in the long term. Remember, food and vet bills can quickly add up. Number 7. If you live in a small space. Ragdolls may be known for being lazy, but they still need enough space to play. Plus, they're smart and need to stimulate their brains, which is hard to accomplish in a small apartment. Number 8. If you're not willing to give this video a like to show your appreciation for this breed. Number 9. If summers are really hot where you live and you don't have AC. The ragdoll's coat is thinner during the summer, protecting the cat from accumulating too much heat, up to a point. Your ragdoll will still need a home with an AC unit if you live in a hot climate. Number 10. If you plan to let your cat wander outside. Regardless of breed, there are many dangers for cats outside. Plus, your trusting and friendly ragdoll could be snatched away in the blink of an eye, not to mention the people out there who hate cats and might even try to hurt yours. If you want your cat to get fresh air and sunshine, it's not all bad news. As shown in this picture, you can build a perfectly safe catio or cat-proof your yard. It takes a bit of effort, but it's worth it. Number 11. If you're not committed. Getting a pet is a huge responsibility, especially since cats can live up to 20 years. You should only get one if you're determined to take proper care of your cat, including sterilizing the cat and regularly visiting the vet. You should also be willing to take your cat anywhere you live, even if you move a great distance. There are far too many abandoned cats suffering already. Still interested in ragdolls? Watch this video next to learn more about them and subscribe to my channel, as I'll be posting more ragdoll content. See you next time!